depths of hell could have forged a diamond this special. All right, y'all, we are back. So uh, in case you guys missed it last time, I am going to do it again for you guys this time because uh, I still get questions on how to put wrenches and straps on the trailer. And uh, here's a tutorial. So we've got my, if you guys are owner operators like me, you want to cut corners. I mean, you want to you wanna take corners and cut costs a little bit. Uh, you know, especially if you don't own the equipment, but if you do, I'll show you how to save a buck. So first thing you want to do, um, go to Harbor Freight. This is going to sound crazy, but go to Harbor Freight, get the VIP member. Uh, it's like 40 bucks for the year, and I'll tell you why. So I went to Harbor Freight, picked up these straps. These straps are normally... 27 to 30 bucks at napa i bought these on sale with the vip thing knocked off 30 dollars um i mean knocked off what was it i forgot how much these are originally I'm trying to remember um but i think i only paid 11 dollars for each of these uh with the coupon it was like a like a special coupon for like 30% off of something. It was like if you're a VIP member or whatever. So 30% off with your VIP membership. And uh, basically knocked off, um, let's see, 28 to, so basically I saved like 17 bucks per roll. Like can't, dude, guys, can't beat that. So I picked this up, 60 cents, Harbor Freight, no biggie, right? So uh, you wanna cut costs without cutting corners, no problem. These are rated for 5,400 pounds. A guy at Napa was saying, oh yeah, but you know, our straps are better. Yeah, that sounds good, but they have to meet the DOT rating, which is what it is here. So 5,400 pounds, you know, and this is going on a rental trailer, so no big deal, right? So um and then you could get yourself a winch strap winder oh, i'll just try to peel it off right here because sometimes they just melt these on and you can just peel them see just like so um so yeah so i think for i think i bought I think I was able to get 11 of these because I was trying to get, I went to three different stores. Each of the stores had four of them, but only one of them had three. So uh, I'll leave this one here. So what's going on, Jim? Yeah, that's my neighbor. So, uh, so yeah, so I spent, what was it? uh 11 dollars on each got you know got these for a good deal and i'll show you guys how to do these sorry it's taking so long uh, i'm just really trying not to cut myself with these blades i'm gonna take out my sturdier pocket knife because the other the harbor freight one has some flex to it which in most applications is good but applications such as this one not so good uh this i got a dewalt uh blade on it carbide tip believe me you mean spend the extra couple dollars it is worth it you know these blades they last a long time and they always stay really sharp all right cool so now that you got these off now this is going to sound crazy but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the uh you're going to want to take the roll unroll it and the buckle 
or I'll just do it like this. The part with no line, you're gonna want to put uh, the part with no line. See how it has an orange line? This has no line. Have this facing you. You're gonna wanna put it through the winch, pull it through, I'd say about, hmm, about six to eight inches. And then wind that up just a little bit. So I'm gonna move this down. And then what you could do is take this. Now I have two methods of doing this. So I get, I have a winch strap winder in the cab. It's manual, but for this reason, for this method, I'll show you this way. Cause it's, it's a lot more, uh, it's a lot more efficient. So I have a Ryobi drill, which I'm going to end up swapping this one out for something that does more spinning and less, uh, hammering. Uh, I bought this off of Amazon. I'll try to link the, leave the link for it down below. And then I got a Milwaukee impact rated uh, socket. So I'm gonna stick it, stick it in there. The hooks expand where they should. And then you just wind it back. So the reason why I don't like this is because it, that, you try to do it too fast and then it just starts hammering away. And I don't, I don't really like that. So that's why I want to switch the drill. And then, so you want to pull out all that slack. See, I would just try to hammer. I want, I want more twisting and less hammering. So you want to try to pull out that slack because that'll, that's going to come around and bite you right in the butt. Comes time to actually get the job done. So that's why. I always use a, a ratchet, uh, not a ratchet strap, uh, a winch strap winder, which I should have grabbed, but my hands were kind of full. So let me grab that really quick. And this go, this GoPro with the media attachment mod, it's a, uh, it's weighing it down a lot. So sorry. So the reason why I use this one, is because I can it, wind it up. And you always want to break in your straps before game day or before you're about to haul up, about to haul a load because these fibers, since they're synthetic, they need to stretch out. So you want to pull that out, pull that out. See all that slack? So imagine what happens when you go to crank down the load and your fibers aren't even stretched yet. So when you do that, you take your bar, and you just keep cranking. When, uh, last time I had to do this for an entire trailer, I ordered 15 brand new winches, 15 brand new straps, and I sat outside for like three hours stretching out these fibers. So once you do that, hang on, I'm gonna try to fix this headband really quick again. All right, so once you do that, um, you know, take your bar, loosen it. This is gonna get very redundant really quick or very tiring and boring, but trust me when I tell you, this is gonna save you a lot of work. This is gonna save you a lot of work comes the day that you need to actually secure stuff on the trailer because if your, your fibers aren't pre-stretched. So I'll leave the link for this wind strap winder, which is my preferred method. This is just doing a sloppy job in a quick amount of time. This is more efficient and effective because you get to control the speed and you know, you're not waiting for a power drill to, you know, get the, get the power it needs. Now I might revisit this once I get the new drill, but yeah, you want to pull that slack out, you know, I recommend doing it probably about two or three times on each roll because you can see all this slack that I'm I'm pulling out of here with just this. Never mind. With the big bar. So you get the big winch bar. I'll try to leave a link for that um, down below as well. Uh, I do not get paid for these links on Amazon. Uh, and then once you're done with that. You know, and once you're done with all of them, you want to get you a big can of Big Shot PB Blaster and spray on the left and the right side. 
try to loosen up that rust. And uh, yeah, a little dab of do you and you know, let that soak in and really work on those. So I already pre-treated all these winches when I was at Penske picking up the trailer today uh, before I left. So that way, you know, they're pretty well seasoned by the time I get to them, uh, which is now two, almost two hours later. So uh, someone decided to take it upon themselves to use a two inch strap on here, which that is unacceptable. That needs to be a four inch strap. This two inch strap probably only has a working load limit of about 3000 pounds. Uh, it says 333, uh, 3300 pounds and the straps are 54. So a lot of times you'll see me whack the winches and that's because you want to knock all that dirt and sand out of there. You want to hold the flip up. Because you don't want that to stop. And then I'll show you how to wrap these up. So what you could do, fold it in half, but probably about a third of the way down. Wrap it up like a cinnamon bun like so make sure you guys can see so i'm working on getting a new strap i know i said that a while ago but it wasn't now i gotta go chase that trash crap that's right and then they also sell a, an attachment that you could hook on the side of your rail that you can wind up these straps and stuff so uh and when i find that I'll be sure to link that below because I'm looking for one. I didn't see any at Harbor Freight or anything. So I'm going to end up putting this in the box. But what I'll do is I'll put this on top of the trash for now. All right, I'm going to go grab that trash. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-treat these winches before I get to them just to give them a chance to soak in while I'm doing the other one. Now I was showing the driver this the other day um, when I was teaching them how to do things, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it real time like I, how I normally do it. So I'll roll that out. Pull it back. Now I'm not trying to rush or anything. I'm not trying to show off or anything. I'm just doing it how I would normally do. So about six to eight inches, maybe a foot. Foot doesn't hurt. So now I'm trying to get most of the twist out while I'm picking this up. And then just to get it mostly off the floor, just for the first initial wind up. And see if, you know, you go too fast, it'll get twisted. And what that's doing is just 
stretching out the fibers so it's less stretching you have to do when you go to secure your load. Uh, you know, because the last thing you want to do is work extra hard just to get the same result, so. Always keep the clip up on the left. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, take my winch strap winder. Now we got two more to do. And then I gotta spray that one with PB Blaster. Shove that through. Bring it up and over. that there and then I'll do the other one while I'm at it. At least get that part up. Grab my tools. And again, we're gonna go slow. You guys already know. It's actually less work if I just use the wind strap winder. Pull that nice and tight. Line that up. And just keep cranking. And you don't want to exert too much force on this because this hook part is kind of, it's not the strongest, it's not nearly as strong as your winch bar. So you definitely want to exert most of the torque in the, uh, in the winch bar, not the winch strap winder. So once you get a good amount of torque in, Loosen that a little bit. And 
and notice how I start in the in the hole that's further up so you get more leverage and instead of resetting you could just turn the, the pole because this is at an angle you could just turn the pole and then crank down oh sorry I was in this hole so notice my bar was like that you don't want to crawl underneath the trailer so it's the bar towards you or the other way get another two cranks out of it then once the hole is up there you can just put it in part of the way you don't even have to you don't have to put the pole in the hole all the way you still get more leverage this way now it's you know you guys are going to be sore for a few days after doing this but um, you know i think stick with it you know it'll grow on you so we're gonna pull this out So we're going to pull that out. Yeah, it's a little bit more manual work, but that's a lot less manual work, if you know what I mean. So you ain't got to fidget with that thing. Now in the summertime, you could over crank all you want. In the wintertime, I don't recommend it because if water gets into your straps unless you use my you know my my strap de-icer solution you're you're gonna have a heck of a time trying to get them off so all right so these are three three things you're gonna need i'll try to link them all on amazon for you guys um and then what I'm going to do before I go, we're going to do a drive-by spray on all these. So I think I already did all of these except for this one. I mean, I did them earlier, but, you know, who knows when was the last time these were taken care of, you know. And I think this can was probably about six, seven dollars. Great investment. I definitely recommend it. And uh, Penske's ordering me some more straps and winches. So. And that's that. So I do appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Leave a comment down below if there's any tutorials you guys want to watch uh want to watch me do let me know down in the comment section email us uh safford hauling services at gmail.com or hit us up on instagram at safford delivery uh safford delivery services i believe uh and it's all in the the the, the descriptions down below so i'll see you guys on the next one thanks so much for watching later